In this video, we're going to look at dividing terms. If you had 8m divided by 2, well, half of 8m would be 4m. Now, this means exactly the same thing, 8m over 2, or 8m divided by 2. Well, again, that would be 4m. In algebra, just remember that the divided by sign is sometimes written as an over. Well, normally it's written as an over like that, okay? So 8m over 2 would mean also 8m divided by 2. Before we carry on, it's very important we know the laws of indices. So whenever you're dividing, if you had x to the a divided by x to the b, it's equal to x to the a minus b. So if you've got the same base number and you're dividing, you just take away the powers. So an example would be y to the 5 divided by y to the 2. You take away the powers, so it would be y to the 3. If you had y to the 10 divided by y to the 2, again you take away the powers, so it would be y to the power of 8. If you had, let's have a look at something like this, y to the 5 divided by y to the 8. Again, you're going to take away, but be careful here, 5 take away 8 is minus 3, so it'll be y to the minus 3. And finally, here's something that would be very common, y squared divided by y. Now, if there's no number, you can put a 1 there and then take away. So 2 take away 1 is 1, so that would be y to the 1. But normally in algebra, you just write that as y, okay? So y squared divided by y would be equal to y. And that makes sense because y times y is y squared. Let's then have a look at some examples. So let's start off with 15m squared divided by 3m. So if you've got something like this and you've got numbers in front, let's just divide the numbers to begin with. So 15 divided by 3 is 5. Now let's look at the letters. m squared divided by m. Well, we just looked at y squared divided by y was y. So m squared divided by m, what's well, going to be equal to m. So the answer would be 5m. Just remember that if there's no number here, you could put a 1. 2 take away 1 is 1. But instead of writing 5m to the 1, you would just write 5m. Okay, let's have a look at another example. 8x to the power of 4 divided by 2x squared. Again, let's divide the numbers at the front. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then x. And then let's take away the powers. 4 take away 2 is 2. So the answer is 4x squared. Let's have a look at another example. 20x cubed divided by 4x to the power of 5. Again, let's divide the numbers at the front. 20 divided by 4 is 5. And it's going to be an x. And let's take away the powers. 3 take away 5 is minus 2. So the answer is 5x to the power of minus 2. Now sometimes your expressions you're dividing might have more than one letter. And then what you do is you just treat them one at a time. So let's just start off with the numbers, and then we'll deal with the x's, and then we'll deal with the y's. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. x to the power of 4 divided by x, remember that's x to the power of 1. Take away the powers, that'll be x cubed, x to the power of 3. And y divided by y, oh, if you had y divided by y, well, that's going to be equal to 1. Because remember, if you had something like 5 divided by 5, that's 1. Or if you had 10 divided by 10, that's also 1. So if you have y divided by y, that's 1. So y divided by y is 1. Now, you tend not to write that because 6x cubed times 1 is just 6x cubed. So if you have y divided by y, it's 1. We tend not to write that. Um, so some people just say they cancel out y divided by y, it's 1. In terms of your answer, it has no effect, so it just cancels out. So the answer is 6x cubed. All right. 20x to the power of 8, y to the power of 8, divided by 10x cubed, y to the power of 4. Okay, let's deal with the numbers at the front. 20 divided by 10 is 2. And then x. 8 subtract 5, or sorry, 8 subtract 3 is 5, so it's x to the power of 5. And then you've got y to the power of 8 divided by y to the power of 4. Well, take away the powers, 8 take away 4 is 4. So the answer would be 2, x to the power of 5, y to the power of 4. And our last example, just to show you that, to remember, the line also means divided by, just like we looked at the very beginning. So here we have got 100m to the power of 5x squared divided by 5m to the power of 4 x squared. So 100 divided by 5 is 20. m to the power of 5 divided by m to the power of 4. Take away the powers. That'll be m to the power of 1. But remember, m to the power of 1 is just m. So that's m. And finally, x squared divided by x squared. Well, x squared divided by x squared. 
Well, that's just going to be 1. Remember, again, 10 divided by 10 is 1, and so on. Because it's x squared divided by x squared, it would be 1. Um, so that would be, and remember, instead of writing it, they just cancel out. So you're just left with 20m. So that's it. So that's how you divide algebraic terms.